Hey, what's going on guys? HDW here, and today I'm going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2015, or just 15. And, uh, I actually got this uh, yesterday. I've been playing a little bit of it, and, uh, well, actually, first things first, uh, I don't know if this is going to be uploaded today when I'm recording, but it is Halloween, so happy Halloween, everyone. I'm pretty sure I'll get it uploaded today, so, yeah. But anyways, I got it yesterday, and it's an it's a very awesome game. I love the updated physics and the graphics, guys. This is um on medium, with no anti-aliasing or any of that, and the graphics look awesome as hell. So I don't even know want to know what they look like on high. So I I already started, as you can see. I got my equipment over here. Um, Let's see here. They added a bunch of different new vehicles and tools and stuff. Like this combine harvester is new. This wasn't in the uh, 2013. And you might have been able to get it through a mod or something like that. But this is what they start you out with, this combine harvester. And they start you out with four tractors. There's uh, There was two of these and two of a different tractor but I sold the other two and just got three of these tractors because they're a little bit better there's my fertilizer but um, there's so many cool futures about this game it's like that th now there's tree cutting so I can't wait to get to that aspect of the game and I plan on doing a um, a let's play for this and this is be gonna be the part one Sorry that I started without you guys. I just wanted to check out the gameplay. I've been waiting months and months and months for this game, and it's finally here. And uh, so, yeah. Um, if it's too loud or not loud at all or too silent for you guys, I'll be sure to turn up the settings in the next video. But for me right now, it's, it's pretty good for me. Actually, it might be a little bit too loud for me. Let me... I'm gonna... Oops. Um, I'm gonna turn down the volume a bit on my headphones so I can talk clearly. But anyways, um, they start us out with this kind of crappy... It's, it's a pretty cool combine harvester, except one problem. This thing doesn't harvest shit. I mean, it maybe harvests like four rows, five rows, but it takes forever to, um, even, even a field like this, it takes kind of forever to harvest, so, if, if it, if, if you guys don't enjoy this kind of gameplay of me, like, you know, just harvesting and stuff like that, I can, um, I can cut that out for you if you guys want. Looks like I heard he started a row, but I forgot about it back up here and this is wheat we're doing right now and uh, as you can see that uh, like in farming simulator 2013 if you guys played that you would uh, see a bunch of stuff coming out the back that you can turn into bale bales of hay but uh, right now I don't have enabled straw to swap on so if I had that on it would shoot out that stuff you need to, to bale hay with but, um, so far, I'm really impressed with this game. I, there's another cool feature that they added in that I want to show you guys later on. Like, uh, I, I guess I can explain it to you right now. So, um, when you're using your equipment, such as your uh, tractors and uh, cedars and sowers, stuff like that, and cultivating, one thing cool about this is that it actually, when you first buy that tool, it's uh, clean and everything, right? But once you start using it for a certain amount of time, it'll start showing signs of dirt on it. And uh, you can actually wash your uh, vehicle slash implement that is uh, dirty. And I'll, I'll show you guys that later here in a second. And uh, it's, it's really cool. The physics for this game are out of this world. And I don't know if there's... The, if it's the same ragdoll effects that you got in FS 2013 when you would drive like a vehicle off a cliff and 
it would s still stay on the ground and not go flying. I don't know. I haven't tried that yet, but another cool thing is the tracks from your vehicle go into the dirt. Like, that's pretty freaking awesome. I, I, I'm in love with this game right now, guys. It's, it's an awesome game. I don't like words. I, I can't describe how awesome FS 2015 is compared to the other ones. It's it makes the other ones look like crap, frankly. That's all I gotta say. Oh, shit. I know I'm supposed to turn off the the harvester when I'm backing up and going to a new row and everything, but right now I just want to finish what's left of this field, and also it's a little bit harder to turn off the uh, harvester when you're using an Xbox controller, which is what I'm using right now, and uh, it does have partial controller support, that's why, how I'm able to use the uh, Xbox controller, and uh, some things you need the uh, keyboard for, but I'd rather use the Xbox controller than a mouse and a keyboard. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually playing on my uh, laptop right now. I'm not using my desktop at the moment. So I'm, re I'm recording in 1600 by 900, but it's probably going to go to 1280 by 720 once I render it. And uh, this field is done, so give me a quick second. I'm going to turn this baby off here. So I'll show you guys real quick about the uh, washing the vehicles and implements that you use. And see, see how uh, you can see a little bit of dirt on the um, the header for the this combine. See how there's dirt and everything on that. Well, what this tool allows you to do, it's actually a placeable item. Well, actually, you know what? Let me show you the buy menu really quick. Here's here's the uh, buy menu for you uh, guys that want to see the buy menu. You can get uh, cars, but not. There's only one cars, one car you can get. It's a pickup truck, pretty much. Looks kind of like a Dodge, but placeables. Here we go. This thing with this machine, you can clean dirty vehicles and tools. I bought this. It's basically a a car wash kind of thing going on. I also got a bee house. But um, yeah, so a lot of new vehicles. The harvesters are awesome. They're all new harvesters. New Holland, Crone, Case Two, or Case Three, or whatever that is. I uh, I do want to upgrade my harvester and pretty soon because this one uh, kind of sucks. It it's awesome, like you know, like it's it's cool looking and everything, but it's only got like a. I think a 4.5 meter working width with the header I have. No, 4.2. So the next one up gives you 5.5. And then the case 2, 10.5 meters. And then the other New Holland, 12 meters, 13.7 meters. So um, I do plan on doing uh, other stuff, like um, other than bar, I mean, uh, wheat. I do want to get into corn and uh, maybe even beets and potatoes but that's really long down the, the line um cuz those machines are expensive uh, I'm sure you guys want to see the forestry equipment cuz that's brand new to farming simulator um th you really can't do much with these tools except transport and cut tree stumps you really need like this machine right here the scorpion king to uh, actually cut down the trees and stuff. See how it's like 317000 I already owe a $200,000 bank loan. So uh, it's, I played, uh, I started this game on normal difficulty and I took out a hundred grand to buy some, buy that other tractor and do that kind of stuff. I'll be right back guys, sorry. Alright, sorry about that guys, I am back, gotta readjust my mic here, but anyways, yeah, um, this one is just for transporting tree logs, and this one can uh, actually cut them, if you see in the uh, reveal trailer for uh, tree cutting, this machine is what they were using, the Scorpion King in that trailer, and um, that shit looked badass, I cannot wait to try forestry. 
Um, it's it's completely brand new to the farming simulator series, and I just cannot wait. Oh, you can using a chain. Oh, you can cut down uh, trees manually. Okay, so you don't actually just need that. You can um. You c let me see here. Uh, where's the forestry? Here we go. Um. This vehicle, I hope, like, uh, I hope they made it to where this, like, say this trailer right here can actually pick up the tree logs itself, because I don't know how that exactly works. So I guess we can get into tree, um, forestry pretty quickly here if we just use the chainsaw and, uh, used one of these trailers here, if, if they can pick up. And you can also, uh, looks like you can make, uh, trunks into wood chips. So uh, that's where this little tool comes in handy. This cuts tree stumps, and so you can feed it through this thing, where it takes the trunks and puts them into wood chips, and then you can later sell them at a uh, place <coughs> for money. And uh, that's that's pretty good. So you get double, like you you can do two things with trees right off the bat here. You sell the you sell the logs or whatever, and you take the stumps out of the ground and you turn them into wood chips. This thing is to plant the trees. It's not that much money. I actually, I'm gonna have to do a lot of off-camera farming to get up to the level I want to be at. Like I want to get this thing, and then this thing, and then this thing. So that's like uh, almost 200 grand right there. So I might as well just be going for this thing, cause this thing does it all, really. I mean, except for cutting the tree stumps and turning into wood chips, but. Well, I guess you know what. Never mind. You know, we'll we'll go for um, we'll go for this. I want to make sure though that this this machine right here, this trailer, can actually pick up the logs because I don't know how that's gonna work. You guys might already be playing this as well, so you might be able to tell me something in the comments about uh, forestry if you've gotten into it yet. Um. So yeah, the buy menu is really cool in this game. Like you got the placeables, the wheel loaders telehandlers. Actually, this is new too. I don't think they had a separate category for these, but there's not there's only one machine. They did have it, but it was it was a front wheel loader. It wasn't called a telehander in the last game. They, here we go. The fuel tank low loader. Okay, I see. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I um I don't actually know if you can um Uh, I guess it's just a matter of which one you like more design-wise. They're all the same price, and they don't really do anything. But I'm not going to buy it right now, because I'm, I'm slowly getting down into debt as it is, and I really can't spend money on any more stuff. So, anyways, back to letting me uh, show you guys the, uh, the ability to wash your uh, vehicles and such. It's the machine I placed is right over here. It's pretty freaking amazing. I, I love it. Alright, get out, and uh, here we go. Turn on high pressure washer, and then, there we go. We're washing its tires. It's pretty awesome, guys. I mean, it's. The way they, hand, they made this game is kudos to them. I mean, like, really. This game is freaking amazing. I love it. I'm probably going to get bored of it in like, you know, a month or two just like any other fun simulator game, but don't worry guys, I will I will do the let's play longer than a month or two probably. It, it it'll, it'll take me a while to get everything I want in this game. And uh looks like the looks like yeah, it's like pretty much fully washed except for part like right there that I probably can't get. But yeah, that's pretty freaking amazing. The, the ability to wash your vehicles. It's it's awesome. I'm going to cultivate this other field then while I'm going to harvest the other one. So what I did with the... This is the cultivator I bought. This isn't the one you start out with. This is the one I bought for the loan I told you guys about. Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. Unfold it first. 
I meant to unfold it. Oh, that's A. And you can also see the exhaust from the uh, vehicles if you look closely. You can really see the exhaust, and I find that that's pretty awesome as well. Ooh, looks like yeah. I hate backing up with stuff attached to tractors. Just go ahead and hire a worker. Oh, and the reason why it's going so slow while, I'm cult while it's cultivating is because we're going uphill right now. A little hill. But uh, you'll see the speed increase here in a second. Should be able to. Four miles per hour. Oh, crap. He's missing. I'll just get it later, that's fine. But, uh, looks like four miles an hour is the max, actually. Huh, weird. But when he's going down this side, he goes up to, like, eight miles an hour, I think. Let me see here. Let's see real quick. It looks like he does six. Damn, dude, you're, like, you know, like, you're... Cricket as hell, dude. I hope you're gonna fix that. I don't wanna go back and have to fucking get parts that he missed. That's what I'm paying him for. No, I think we're fine. I don't think he's gonna miss anything. Just that part over there that I have to get later on. But that's... That's no big deal. But yeah, while that's doing that, let's go back to the harvester. You'll probably... The only thing I really uh, do in this game and not hire workers is probably harvest crops. Unless, you know, I have multi -fiel multiple fields running and I have two combines, I'll have a worker on one and me on the other one. And uh, you're probably saying I really shouldn't hire workers right now because the low amount of money I have, well... You know, I, I don't really enjoy, you know, um, for some reason I only enjoy when I do the combine harvester. I don't enjoy when I plow, I don't enjoy when I cultivate, I don't know. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. So uh, make sure you guys tell me if you want to see everything, like uh, me harvesting and all that stuff. I'm gonna do some farming off camera just so I can get my money built up, but I'm talking about when I'm recording the actual game like right now if you want to see me harvest and stuff like that. Which is fine by me. It's it's up to you guys. I'll, I'll record it if you want me to, but we might run out of things to talk about. No, we probably won't, but still. So, uh, if you guys have any other things that I don't know about this game yet, make sure you, uh, write down in the comment section below, and, because I'm really amazed by this game. I would love to hear more about it that I don't already know, especially if you guys have done the forestry yet in this game. I haven't, so I'd like to know more about that, see how that works, and, uh, if you guys can tell me anything about that, that would be awesome. I did, in, I did fertilize this field, so we have increased yield from it, in case you were wondering. I need to buy... The other, the other thing I need to get is a bigger sower, because the one we have right now is really small. It's the, I think it's the default one they give you at the beginning, and it's the working width is only like 3 meters, and it's, it's terrible. there. There we go. Right before the end, wow. That would have been awesome if we got this whole road done and it filled up. Let me get the pipe out. And then I'm going to bring the uh, trailer over to it. There we go. Uh, this isn't the default trailer that they start you out with either. Uh, this is another thing I bought with the uh, low money. This thing holds up to uh, 21,000 liters of uh, 
whatever you're harvesting. For us, we're harvesting wheat, so... Oops. And uh, we can go ahead and toggle our map here, so... The one thing I really, really love about this game now is that it shows you where you can drop off your your um, your harvest, your crop. And uh, it shows the name and everything. And that's what I love. That's the problem with FS 2013. If you looked on your map, they didn't show like which place was which. And with this game, it shows you exactly which one is which. So that's that's a, that's another amazing feature that I found in this game. And you can see that um, in the trailer that since we unloaded in that part of the trailer, it's like uh, has like a slope because it filled up from that point. That's that's another cool thing about the physics. But uh, I think as long as like uh, your trailer's full, it doesn't matter how high up the slope is or whatever. I don't I don't know. That's another thing I need to learn more about. Let me just put this guy over here for now. Just to get out of everyone's way. So, uh, you, you guys will have to tell me uh, what you think of this game so far. I, I think it's amazing. Um, right now, since I'm recording this series on my laptop, I'm not going to upload any custom thumbnails or anything for the time being. Just until I get, like, you know, Photoshop situated and everything. And I do all that, but, uh... But, uh, it shouldn't be, uh... Nah, that's alright. Um, look at this. I mean, look at the way that it cultivates now. Like, in Farming Simulator 2013, it was just a dust smoke. Like, now you can actually see the dirt get grinded up in, into, like, a, uh, certain pattern. It's pretty awesome. I, I think it's pretty amazing. But uh, anyways, guys, I think that's it for today's episode. I thank you all for watching, and make sure to watch out for more of this game. Uh, please like, and uh, I'll see you all later.